come back, ladies and gentlemen, fellow drummers. Back on the last part, the hip part of Massoff's Roundtable, Larry and his kid and the drumsters. Welcome to Massoff's Roundtable. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Frank from Oz, you brought some nice drums with you. Guys, these drums are so rare, you hardly can find them on eBay. These are 1930s Gretsch broadcasters. What sizes do you got here, Larry? Well, that's a 26-inch bass drum and a couple of 16-inch floor toms, one little shorter, and a 13-inch rack tom and a nice snare drum. Six and a nice and a snare drum. Yes, yes. And you also got some, some metal hanging around? Yeah, there's some cymbals here. Good, there's, okay. You know, shiny ones. <laughs> some nice shiny Sabian cymbals, some special, uh, you know. Whatever. Special nice. Um, tell, tell me, something about your concept of sound and, and tuning, like the relation between top and bottom heads, how you tune them. What's your philosophy on that? Well, I, you know, I'll normally put a thinner one on the bottom and a thicker one on the top and uh, tune them about the same pitch and uh, nice and as generally about as low as I can get them to go and still okay. have some tone. Low. Hi. And you know, I like the the, the very dark gong-like symbols and, okay. uh, and you know. That's such a lovely symbol. Uh, it's really, really a nice sounding symbol. I, yeah. What can I say? Yeah. Um, let's just beat the crap out of it. I would say. That's that's the thing to do. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> to have you on the show with the drums. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Massoff's Roundtable. On the next show, we're going to have a special guest, of course, named Earl Harvin. Thank you. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yeah!